<coughs> Hello, this is Karmakun. I'm going to show you uh, something cool. I implement, I fully implement OpenCV inside uh, Maya because I want to create uh, some kind of auto modeling tool. Then I have to uh, process some images to get subject or something or points or whatever to. Uh, to get enough information to automodel something in this case I want to make some characters so the first thing I have to do is load my plugin uh, which is this one, the NMX and now it's loaded inside Maya and then inside the shader editor uh, I can grab the, the basic number for example um, then find my new node. This node, uh, it's like a replace, re replacement for the for the file nodes inside Maya. If you see, I have some similar things. So for example, I can load uh, some image. Let's say uh, this, for example. Okay. And well, if you see, this is from from OpenCV. It's just the, the basic uh, screen displaying the the picture. And then I can plug this inside the color of the lumber. And now there you go, you have this texture. It's not that different at this point. Let's see, I can create a plane, make it bigger, like six. And this is normal, I think. The only difference here is I have some control, for example, I'm requesting just the normal visualization of this texture, but I can change that, for example, for the silhouette. See? Now I have the same texture, but analyzing with OpenCV to get this, uh, this shape. And for example, I have some control about, uh, uh, about the processing of the silhouette, and I made this. Uh -huh. Hard coded UI to control it faster. Oh, oh nope, apparently it's not working. Oh, okay. It's this one. Oh. Okay. Huh? Now there you go. You can change that functionality from OpenCV and reflect everything inside the UI. Of Maya, in this case, it's beautiful. Uh, and as you can see, we can change that for something else. This is, this is another image with it another threshold. For example, this image is not working pretty well. But I mean, it's just the first step. See? 